All right, guys, I just found this boat on Facebook. They're giving it away for free. The trailer looks pretty decent. It's kind of buried down in the ground there. And the uh, boat's in pretty bad shape. I don't think the motor run either. There's a bunch of mice in there, I thought. But I think we might have a little fun with this boat. You're going to give away this uh, little aluminum rowboat, too. So I think I'll take that. They said they also have a little gas motor in here they might give me. So I'm going to check that one out, too. Hey, do you want a free boat? Well, it's easier than you might think. I got my truck all packed up here with tools and stuff. Go pick up my free bow right now, and I'll tell you how I get them. And it's as simple as searching Facebook Marketplace, and I just type in boats or free boat. And the key to this is you have to check it, like, literally every few minutes. Because as soon as one pops up, if you're not on it within, like, the first 10 minutes, it's going to be gone, especially the good ones. But as soon as I got home, I checked Facebook again, and the boat I really wanted was on there was a 17-foot Alumacraft Lunker, the 50-horse Mercury, beautiful trailer, everything worked on it, the inside needed some redoing, and it was in the same town I live in, just a few minutes away. It's like, oh, see, I wasn't there, you know, within the 10 minutes, it was been a couple hours, and it said, I already said sold, so, um, but uh, the winter time, like this, People don't want to winterize their boats and store it, so it's a great time to check. People are just like, hey, you take it. I don't want to deal with it. Same thing in the springtime. You know, they're doing their spring cleaning, getting rid of all their junk. They're just like, this boat's been sitting here for a few years. We haven't used it. And they're just like, I'll just give it to the first person that comes and gets it. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get a free boat. Now, not all free boats are good boats. A lot of them are pretty much trash, but you got to keep weeding through it, keep looking, and you can find actually a really good ones. Uh, the one I'm getting now has a couple issues, mainly just with the trailer. It needs new tires, so I had to get new tires. But uh, we'll head over to the house and I'll show you what I do to bring home a new boat. All right, we're back at the house. Here's the boat. Uh, main problem here is it's sunk into the ground right there. So I'm going to try to pull it out of here. And then I bought two new tires I'm going to put on for the ride home because I'm not sure these tires will get us there. Our next problem is we've got a lock on here and she doesn't have a key. So. What I did is I brought my uh, little generator there and I brought an angle grinder. We're going to try to cut it off. <laughs> cut her off. All right, that wasn't too bad. The only problem is I forgot my safety equipment, my glasses and my earmuffs, but couldn't remember everything, I guess. All right, got it hooked up. See if we can pull it out of here. <laughs> hey, here's a better look at the tires, and yeah, they're definitely trash. So, good thing I got some new tires. Really, my only question is did I get the right ones? Because they're five bolt pattern. Looking at the spare anyway. We got these little hubcaps on here, so I couldn't tell. So I pop it off. Hopefully, it's the right size. Because the five bolt patterns, they come in like four or five different sizes, depending on the distance between the uh, lug nuts. So we're gonna take it up in the driveway, pop off the cap, and see if we can't replace those tires. First, we're gonna grab that boat there. She's also giving me. I'm gonna throw it on top of this boat. All right, well, I guess this one fits in there pretty decent. Put it right over top of the motor. It's actually a pretty decent boat. All right, now we're gonna pull up that little shed right there. She's got a little motor in there she's giving me too, so let's go get that. All right, let's check out this little beauty right here. She just threw this in. I think it works and everything. So time to grab that and put it in the truck too. There she is. Well, <laughs> The tire fell off before I even made it up the hill. Um, getting the bolts off, the bolts weren't stuck, so that's nice. And the bearings seem to turn just fine. So I just gotta take this one last one off. And unfortunately, I just broke my little tripod on my phone here to hold my phone so you can see. So I'm gonna have to kind of do this one handed or, or just show you the end result here. But. All right, check this out. The tire fits. 
And look at that. Spins good. Bearings sound good. I don't think there's any problem there. It should make it home just fine. All right, two new tires are on. It really dresses it up. Makes it look nice. All right, I just took a very test run around the block. Everything seems to be okay. I got the lights to work. I haven't bought a trailer yet where the lights work, so here's what I did. I bring a whole wiring kit for new trailers, and I just uh, taped the wires all the way back to the lights and hooked it into there. And the lights that are on here did work, except the right running light didn't work, so I actually had spare lights in here too that I just took the ball bottom. Um, so always be prepared with wires and lights because they never work. And while I was there, he gave me this awesome patio table. It's all like concrete on top with like tiles, looks nice. All kinds of uh, tiles and wood flooring up there. And what else? Here's the rest of it. We got uh, that boat, we got the motor in here. There she be, taking her home. Now here's the funny part. While I was uh, putting the tires on this boat, their neighbor actually came over and was like, hey, I got an old boat, do you want it? So I went over to his yard. He had another fiberglass boat, a little bit bigger than this one here. And the trailer's kind of sunk into the ground too. And he's like, I'll pay you to get rid of it. And after looking over, it's like the boat was complete trash. And the trailer was okay, it needed some work. And it's like, ah, I just didn't want to deal with it. So I told him, no thanks. Then he's like, I got a patio table for you if you want that too. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's just trying to unload all their junk on me, which, you know, some of it was pretty decent. Those patio tables are right. I could have resold that, but I just didn't want to deal with it. So here's what I got for now. Oh, and yeah, I think I forgot. I was going to get video of the, there's another trailer down there, the one the canoe was on. That goes to that little boat, actually. And she said I can have that one, too. And when I looked it over, the trailer's actually in good condition. It's going to need new tires, too. And uh, the front bow stop thing, it's missing it. So I'm going to see if I can get one of those if I can. I might get that trailer too, just to put that little boat on, because I think uh, my plans, uh, I don't know if I told you yet, but I'm going to totally destroy this fiberglass boat here. We're going to have some fun with it, just for your viewing pleasure. And then I'm going to put that little uh, rowboat on top of the trailer and hopefully make a little package out of that. But uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, probably be springtime before I get around to most of this. But for now, we'll bring this baby home and uh, see what we can do with it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching.